Hi everyone, James here. This is part 5 of the 135th Tacon King Tiger, uh, the full build. So, uh, left off from 61 now, turning the page over, carrying on from steps 62 through to 65 still adding more components uh, to the inside of the turret 62 through to 65 no um, issues it was just a slight piece of flashing apart which was easily cleaned just the uh, parts just fit together very well, there's no issues there. Then turn over 66 through to 68 was adding uh, the the turret basket if you like to the to this plate where the, the rounds sit at the back and adding the rounds. I left mine loose for now as I'm going to paint them and then add them once the, uh, the turret itself is all painted uh, 66 was adding some photo etch around the uh, the opening of the turret wall the crew sit 67 and 68 it's just adding the the rounds building them and adding them to the turret and turning over uh, 69 through to 72 is building the the inner part of the gun inside the turret and building up the breech block. Turning over again, 73 and through to 75. Again, adding more components to the gun itself and then placing that into the turret basket and adding the the outer gun barrel and then placing that onto the turret once it's all fixed. Again, I've left parts of these components loose as I'm going to separately paint them. That's 73 through to 75. Then the final two steps, 76 and 77, is adding the photo etch and plastic framing and adding that mesh over the radiator vent and adding the, the turret ring here. And final step, 77 is adding the, the turret to the hull, which I'm going to leave off so you can uh, see the inside. So I'm leaving or not gluing the lower and upper hulls and then not gluing the top and bottom turret halves. So you can see all the insides. 77. So this is the progress, uh, starting off with the, the turret basket. The photo etch has been added there. And many components making up the top of the turret insides. So that's the inside of the turret and as well as the the rounds that go in the back of it that we painted separately and then the, the photo etch mesh to cover the 
or the front two radiators uh, each end was bent after it was set on both sides and then finally we have the main weapon and again that's all separate that's going to be painted uh, loose And at the end I will leave you with some close-up pictures.